I'm Roger. I work for Mill Cabinet. I've been here for about 33 years. Uh, I've worked in the finished room here the whole time I've been here. And today we're just going to show you a little bit how things are done and what can be done. Once the door is sanded and prepped out there, it's going to come back here. It's smooth, it's sanded, it's ready to go. At this point, the door is ready to be stained if you want to. Some people like them beat up, so I'm just going to kind of give a crossover with everything. So here's my handy dandy distressor. And what that does is just add some dents, as many or as few as you want. All right, at this point, we're ready to stain it. Right now, this is an oil stain, so there's actually real too much there. What you're doing is you're wiping it off. Okay, now the door is basically stained, and the door at this point would sit maybe 20 minutes to a half hour. With some of the stains, like Minwax, you might have to leave it set overnight. I'm going to push things here a little bit, and I'm going to go ahead and seal this door so that you understand what I'm doing there. Sealer is just something that seals the wood up and takes care of any small loose fibers that are still standing up. Once it's dry, it's going to be rough, which is what I've already done to this door. This door is already sealed and it's already dry and it's just kind of rough. So you take a paper like a 280 to 320 and what you're going to do is you're just going to sand it. And at this point it doesn't really make any difference. You can go any way you want. You just don't want to cut through your edges. Now you're going to glaze it if you want to glaze. At this point it's ready to be lacquered if that's what you want to do. If you want to glaze, and I'm going to use a black glaze simply because it's going to really show up good for the camp. It can give it kind of an old look. Okay, now that you've got that in the grain, you're going to want to use something like a, a mineral spirits. And then you're just going to want to just wipe it down. You can see that changes the color, and you can also see it's hanging up in the corners. Now, the door's glazed. You can see it's made a big difference. This is just a coat of lacquer. This protects the glaze. If you don't do this, the glaze will eventually just wear off. So you can see it's gone from that to that. This is one way you can do it. Uh, black is one color. There are other colors. Here's a, a lighter color in red that's actually got a white glaze on it. It's a more ornate door. But uh, again, it's, it's all in what the individual wants. There's nothing here that is really imported from anywhere. This door is hand built right here in the shop. This drawer front is hand built right here in this shop. The drawers right behind the, the guy here is all hand done right here. The painted cabinet is, is a lacquer cabinet. It's done right here. There's nothing that is really sent away from here to be done.